What's up everybody? Here we are going to be talking about how to calibrate your Mavic. You have the uh, downward positioning sensor, I do believe it's called. Um, I sat up for many nights and everything like that trying to get this thing to calibrate correctly. Uh, I'll post some uh, pictures actually in the video of the time that I crashed it and I thought I was done for. I mean, I felt like I was going to throw up. Well, <clears throat> Anyway, in case you guys don't know where the little port is to where you can connect it from the drone to the PC, it is right here underneath the little tab. Um, it's real flimsy, so make sure you don't basically break that little strip there. <clears throat> anyway, I'm just starting the other camera here, which I should have probably already did that. Anyway, now that we got that going, um, so you'll see a video on the corners or something, um, basically showing you the screen. Um, I've ended up finding a way to basically get it to where Windows 10 is the operating system we're going to be doing this on, and a lot of people through the DJI forum is actually having a huge problem basically getting uh, Windows 10 to basically take in that driver. and. Um, well, what it is is that it's actually like a uh, like a signature or something like that. I'm not going to get into too much detail on it because I'm going to explain it in all kinds of weird ways and sound like an idiot probably. But um, anyway, so like uh, what happens is the signature basically don't like the the operating system will not take in a signature because DJI did it in a weird form, which I don't even understand. Um, when I talked to DJI customer service, they said that you cannot do it on a Windows 10. You'd have to do it on an older system because it's not compatible. So, let's go ahead and move on to the whole how-to thing. Um, <clears throat> first thing what you'll have to do, uh, you can go ahead and install the, D the DJI Assistant. I'll go ahead and do that right now. And the reason why I did not already have this done is because I'm going to just go ahead and, you know, do this in the most raw form. You guys are more than happy to, of course, skip forward. Go to the DJI website, as you can tell. And, oh, go up here to Drones. Go down here to Mavic. Look at that beauty. Love this thing. If you don't have a Mavic, get one. Not playing. Girlfriends will probably be mad at you and everything, but get one. Alright, as you can see, I've downloaded this thing before, so on, so on, so. Um, I always, I just use the EXE. Um, I don't really see a reason to have the zip. Um, both ways work the same, so. Go ahead and save it. Down here, it'll download. <coughs> And uh, if you guys can't really see the screen too well, I mean, just take your time. That's why I'm just kind of naming this stuff out a little bit. Um, I'm just working with what I got. That's, that's all I can say. Downloading. Okay, now it's done downloading. So we'll go ahead and open up that file. Verify yes. And accept all that good stuff. At the end there, you don't have to check both boxes, just, I just do, I guess. It don't really matter, either way. It takes a moment. Time may vary, like computers, I guess, and internet. Like I said, at any time, if I'm moving like too slow or something like that, and so on, just go ahead and skip forward. Um, 
because I mean I'm sure everybody knows how to install a program. If you don't, you I, I would hate to see what your computer's like. Yeah, we can go ahead and allow that access. Anyway, so obviously we're here at the DGI Assistant. Um, pretty much like what would happen is that, you know, you would plug in the Mavic, you would uh, go to calibration, and the computer will basically tell you either to restart, or some people, they say it's like a um, frame out alignment error. Um, Actually, that's just part of the step thing. It's just saying that, like, say, for instance, if you're, like, going way too far around the box, it's just basically out of alignment. Um, that's actually not an error. The reboot is the error, and also the um, the continue part is grayed out, or start calibration is grayed out. Uh, the way that I'm about to show you is actually, like, I mean, I swear it'll work. <laughs> so those of you trying to about to freak out, having to send it back to DGI and all that, that sucks. So, what you do <clears throat> is, now that you're here at your main screen, go ahead and close out your applications and make the situation a little bit faster. Sorry about that. And then, what you do is you hold down the shift button down here to your windows, go over here to your power button, and keep holding that shift button and click restart. <clears throat> this will go ahead and look like normal. Um, it'll just basically do its restart process, but what pops up after this right here um, is what we're looking for. We're gonna go over here to where it says reset your PC or see advanced options. That's what we're gonna click on. We're gonna go over here to advanced options. And what you do is you go to Startup settings, and you're at uh, restart change windows options such as, and it says all kinds of information here. Again, apologies if you can't see that. Click restart. And this will look like it's booting up like normal. You're going to see some numbers here on your screen, numbered 1 through 9. Um, at least it is on my computer. I don't know if it varies, but this is what I'm working with. So, obviously what we're looking for is disable driver signature enforcement. And what that will do is basically with DJI, for some reason, I guess, like the signature is not there. Um, or it's right, it's written incorrectly or something like that. So, Windows 10 is basically a program to keep you safe and all that stuff so if there's not a correct signature that it can identify then obviously it will not take in that signature and that's the reason why your driver's not updating a lot of people they say oh you know just go to drive um your uh driver manager and just update it well some people that's not necessarily work with me i look forever and i just couldn't find anything and i sat down for like an hour or two and got this working so we're going to press number seven here Disable driver signature. And uh, this actually is a temporary thing, so you don't have to go back and then, like, uh, try to, um, you know, reactivate it or something like that. Uh, you don't have to go enable, disable. This is just a temporary thing. You restart your computer. Everything's normal again. No worries. Go through this little reboot process. <clears throat> All right, now we got to this main screen here. Let me type in my uh, password. And believe it or not, we are almost done. Demon Tools is acting funny. Maybe I should make a video on that. But I haven't yet to figure it out. I don't know what it's doing. So, it'll probably pop up here in just a second. And... And then it goes.
goes away. It's been acting funny. Anyway, so what we'll do from here is we can go ahead and power our drone on. Like I said, I already got the cord connected here. Go ahead and power that on. We can go ahead and start up our um, DJI assistant. Uh, what's everything doing? In a quiet house that is so loud. Alright, so we're going to say yes, we're going to allow that. And um, it's going to pull up just like the screen that we've seen before the restart. And once it pulls up, we'll plug in our USB to our computer or laptop, whatever you have. I guess a laptop is a computer, but desktop, laptop. Now that that's on, we'll go ahead and slip into our uh, USB here. Now that that's connected, we'll just let it load for a second until Mavic pops up in the top left corner here. Alright, that is, yeah, this is another thing for assistant too. We'll go ahead and allow access. Always allow all access. And click on your uh, Mavic here. And now we are at calibration right here. So of course you, you got your tor tutorial one through three, all the aircraft facing the screen, click next, and then we can go into the next one. Now, <clears throat> like I said, frame alignment error, that is not actually an error. They're actually explaining what's going on in the screen right now. So I've seen a lot of people talking about, oh, I got the frame alignment error. Well, it's not actually you, it's just explaining how you can mess that up. So, anyway, as you can see, I got Calibrate now. Um, like I said, it'll work every time. Uh, actually, I did it once, and then I turned around and did this again, and I didn't even know if I was going to even have that error again. I'm confident that this will help you out, and that's the reason why I actually, I mean, you should see what the little setup I got going on. It looks kind of desperate. <laughs> But um, I just wanted to put this out there because DJI was saying that it can't happen on Windows 10. And I knew that I would figure something out because I just was not, I mean, I don't know what package you guys got, but $1,300, I'm figuring it out. <clears throat> so, probably about the most expensive toy I ever bought in my life. <clears throat> Alright, so we can go ahead and click that Calibrate now. Um, I'm not really going to move my other camera and all that stuff, uh, but my advice to you when I did the calibrate calibration is hold the drone steady like this. Hold the drone steady like that and move it this way, okay? You move the drone where the frame is. Don't move the drone like this, like what it's shown in the picture, because you'll be out of alignment real quick. Just move like this, you know what I mean? I don't know, I kept messing up and I was like, man, what the hell? But it works, I swear. So, anyway, um, hopefully I didn't necessarily bore you guys. This is my first, like, you know, one-on-one -on -one with you guys. Um, definitely leave a, you know, kind, uh, comment, uh, like, and I'll obviously subscribe. So, um, this channel is just now basically getting started. Um, Hoping to get somewhere with it, of course. And then if, and then I'll definitely keep you guys posted on that Part 107 test, um, as I will be trying for commercial. Um, definitely can't wait for that. I'm, I'm overexcited. But what I'm really excited about is, like I said, just to give you guys a rundown, I crashed my drone, right? So I have a video, if you click on my uh, name, I have a video where I was, like, recording this um, it was actually in my daughter's boyfriend's car, <clears throat> and I was going backwards, and for some reason the drone decided to go and took off the opposite direction, and I mean full speed, sport mode, straight into a tree. Oh, it was, it was, it was a dramatic moment. The next door neighbor, he's a really cool guy, he's a real good guy, he smokes these big old cigars, well, he happens to just walk out, I don't know if he's seen it, or, but he act like he didn't know. 
and I asked him if I could go get my drone. He he said my drone what? <laughs> like he didn't know what a drone was. And um, well, anyway, I go over there, pick it up, arms all taken off. I'll post a picture, and I managed to get it back right. I'm, so I was definitely excited. And then of course the gimbal part. Let me go ahead and show you guys this because I've also seen postings about people having problems with that jitter. You know, you got little tabs in here. And there's four tabs. Make sure they're actually behind the frame. Now, if you look real close, you flip the drone upside down, you can have the drone turned off. Actually, I really advise you to have the drone turned off. Flip it upside down, you'll see a little metal L bracket that will come up and stick out like that. If you trust yourself and you have steady hands, I do, when it comes to things like this, you can pull those ribbons just enough to get that plastic piece to get back behind that little piece of metal and a lot of people they're not realizing that that you know uh, it's on the wrong side and that was my problem when I was having those the jello effect is what everybody calls it so I'm telling you what baby these things <laughs> so I always put this cover back on I mean of course so all right, well, I hope this actually helped everybody out. I hope to see you guys again. I hope that you subscribe and shoot those comments down in the box. And I'll see if I can get back to you guys. Well, I will definitely get back to you guys. What I'm saying is I'll see if I can necessarily help you guys out on any other problems that you may or may not have in, with the Mavic. But it's definitely a preferred device. See you guys next time.